Okay, so this is the second part of this week's tool haul, what's come through the mail. This consists of two different socket sets. This cost me, including postage, bloke it out for more. <laughs> bloke had this up for, I think it was 28 quid, and four quid postage. And I offered him 16 and the four for the postage, or whatever it was. Maybe it was 1480 and it was 520 postage, I don't know. It was 20 quid, including the postage, right? Oh, that's nice, isn't it? One of the main reasons, I've seen a few of these, they're all in the 25, 30 range, they're all this rusty, they're all dirty inside, none of them are clean, right? But this one, when you open the lid, you see that it hasn't got much of it left, but it is there. Abington, Abingdon, King Dick, and it's in gold, right? So, uh, every time I open it, the fucking gold flakes off, right? But I've never seen one with that inside the lid. I've seen them with the King Dick on the outside, but that inside the lid is, is rare. Right, so this is a complete King Dick socket set. Don't know what year. It's military issue as well. You see that with the crow's foot on there? See, military King Dick. Uh, military quality, look, I'm not even cut straight. It's got a slight bend there, but I'd say it's. Ooh, it's not new. It will look like new old stock when I'm done with it. I don't think it is. Won't know until I start cleaning it up, actually, to the truth. I mean, it's all, um, Japaned. Does anyone know? Because I've looked it up and you can't just, it's not like, um, it's not like, um, bluing. Does anyone know how you Japan something? I mean, oh, I wondered if there was a certain paint or a certain thing you paint on, like, um, you know, the super blue, but, because this is obviously Japaned and, all we've got is the tiniest bit of surface rust. So that's coming off, but it will come off with the, the 3M wheel. All right, look at that, look at that. Isn't that lovely? Little notches there. To... When have you seen little notches in, in the Tommy bar for a socket set? In it goes, locked. Same the other end. Don't really need it the other end, do you? Because you could just turn it around. No one would know. All right, so you've got that in the middle. Yeah. All it is, is rusty. It's, it's surface rust. It's not, I don't think it's been used. I only got that for the, uh, for the other bit. Yeah, this pushes out to turn it round. It goes round that way. For undo, do up. This, can't remember what this was for. Uh, no, can't remember. Oh, that goes in there, doesn't it? Yeah, all goes in there. And then, yeah, I don't know what that's for. Maybe that's an extra, it shouldn't be in there. But uh, all the sockets are in there. You know, it's just a little kit. But Abingdon King Dick and War Issue. Ooh, I reckon. Don't want to clean the box, but I do want to stop the gold. So I'm going to give this a coat of. Uh, I'm going to give that a clear coat. All right. That will stick that back on and keep it there. And uh, these, I mean. I think what I've got to do is clean them, super blue them, wax them, put them back. If anybody can tell me different, tell me now, before I bloody do it, alright? Uh, I can't let them go like this rust, look, see these rust, the rusts, the rust's not good is it on them, right? Uh, don't know what that's for. Keep that in there though, I'm not taking it out because, you know, it come with it. Been in there so long, you can see the circles. So, um, this was twenty pounds. Like I say, I should give that a clear coat and knock it out for, or put it up for forty. So yeah, that's quite nice, isn't it? That's uh, different. All right, bear with me. That's the baby of the day. Here's another one. Now, 
really, really, truly, as, uh, oh, these are so fucking heavy, I should have changed back to my old mat, shouldn't I? So then my new one. So, what we got here? I've seen, I've seen these command a hell of a lot of money, the old, uh, Brit tall tins. Normally, they're red. This is brown. I didn't see it in the picture. So, I'm going to tell you what I paid for it. First of all, it was £12 postage, right? <laughs> Fucking £12 postage. I paid in total, including postage, £43 for this old Brittle set. What? There we go. What's in here? What do you think's in here? Look at that. Now, can we see the lid? Look at the lid. That's, that's a rarity as well, right? To, to have this in the lid, yeah? It's weird. I, I see stuff, right? And I want to I wanna buy it, clean it, and sell it for a fortune. Some of these go for, in England, over £250. Not sure on this because it's it's brown for a start, right? So, according to that, there's a fun turn screw socket bit, a universal joint, and a valve grinder. And the valve grinder, which I've actually got on me, um, I've got a valve grinder on me auto vice. Would that be the valve grinder? It could indeed. I think that is the valve grinder. Don't know. Because, you know, I've got the valve grinding paste from the other day. So, I've got the dubious task, the what's it task now, yeah? Of, that does say brittle. Uh, of cleaning every single bit of this up. And uh, checking to see what's brittle. That's brittle. That's... If that's brick tall as well. What does that say there? Turn screw socket bit. That is. There's three original things down this side. That's one. Right, that's two. I'm going to put that back on there. And then what have I got here? Universal joint E91. Well, that's a universal joint, but I don't know if it's an E91. That would fit there. And there's another universal joint here. Brittle. Bloke sold it. He said it's not been cleaned. Don't know if everything's there. If it's all original. Because, you know, socket sets do get changed. Um, over the years. But, it also said in the advert that this was his grandfather's, I believe. And his grandfather became a mechanic after the war finished. So, if he bought this at the time, this is a 1945 Brit tool set, right? Now, we've got SAE, US, cross flats. Oh, I see equivalents, right, okay. Brit tool. I mean, I'm just picking bits up at random here. Yeah? There's the hex, you know, this is a hex brick tool. Is that brick tool? Just check on there. Brick tool, indeed. Okay, now I'm going to hit the, the brick tool jackpot here. Brick tool. We need the hex bit that goes in there. Alright. Now, it's going to be a fucker if it ain't here, isn't it, eh? It's that, isn't it? That is the hex bit. So we've got the hex bit that goes in the socket. Yeah, that makes the socket ratchet. Excellent. So put that back in there. Put that in there because I think that goes there. That I'm not sure about. That's a sump plug key, I think. Right, that's just a normal. Oh, that's a bit rusty, isn't it? Fuck it. We'll have to do a scout grafter on that and. And clean it up. Look, that's very corroded there. Come on. Originality beats corrosion every day. Brit tool. 
So it's all, uh, luckily we've got the thing that should all be in here. So I can go all through this, clean it all up. See if there's anything missing. If anything's missing, I can uh, look for it online. Although brick tool do command a lot of money just for one socket at a time sometimes. Look at that. There's another hex piece. Excellent. It's even got on the side brick tool on this one. 1087. Brittle main English made 2073. So we got a socket bar there, looks like this. We got an E74. Got another one there, look that'll come out as well. So there's another hex there. Another hex there. That's three hexes we got. Another brittle wrench. I mean, oh, I think I've got doubles in here. 72, 73. 2073, 27. I've got, I've got three of these, and obviously, you only get one with the kit. So, there's a bonus. 2098. Do these have numbers on? Alright, so I'm going to guess that the 2098 it comes up as E98 on there. Right. Yes, that would be right. And then a little one of these would be an E97. There it is. Right. So, that goes in there for the kit and goes in the box so that is in fact right I could do a whole video on this couldn't I war finish brick tool 3056 yep. e e56 goes up here Fuck, now we've got a whole lot 73 but we want a 74 are you going to be a 74 I don't know until I clean your door that's the thing right Clean that up. Because in the picture, they're sideways. Alright, so I'm not sure on that one. Alright, and this is another. I do believe that is there. It's going to be another E74. With the uh, E74. No, that's a socket. That's a bar. That's a bar. E70. Is this an E70? Who knows? I'm fucking waffling now, aren't I? Eh? A 56. 96, 70, 56. ninety-eight, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight. 96, 97, 98. Which I also think is that one there. I think that's a 98 as well. So I've got two 98s. I've got three of these 2073s. Don't know what this is till I clean it up. Uh, don't even know if it works. That is not part of this set because it's not a hex. All right, that's not a hex. I think I'm missing. I think the 74. All right, but the 74 could be. Oh, so so this E70 here. Yeah, that's an E. That's the E70. Okay. I remember I had the really shitty one? That's an E70, so there it is, 70. Yeah. We've obviously got this because this one's rusty. So that's quite handy, isn't it? Yeah. Because a lot in here. Bendy one? That's not part of it, the bendy one. What I'm missing is the one that goes along like that, up like that, over like that, down like that, and over there. That's what I'm missing. And, uh,. Because I can see that's not there. I've got the 97. I think that's the 96. I think that's the 96. Not sure. It's a little one, that one. Oh, that goes, that's what the bar goes on. Oh, that's what the bar goes on. There. So this bar goes in there, right? Does it? Not in that one. Uh, socket, socket. So tell me what you think of that, right? Do you, do you think that's a good buy or not a good buy? Um... So, from a quick check on history, it turns out Brit Tool is in fact English, and it was incorporated in Wolverhampton, England, in 1915. And it moved factories in 1920 to Owen Road, and in 1937 it moved to this factory in Bushbury. Which was mainly due to the fact that John Shaws and Sons took them over in 1937.
I found just one reference indicating that the brown tins may be a World War II issue. But I can't verify this anywhere else. Haven't checked the sockets, obviously. But, I mean... Bloody hell. Trouble with this is, there's no, there's no numbers on here. So, yeah, in the future, I'm going to chuck this in the degreaser. And uh, once that's in the degreaser and all cleaned up, I'll run it through the wire wheel and see where we go from there. So, once again, here's the ones from earlier. That would be in the previous video to this one, marked part one. Okay, let me know what your favourite is. Don't include the socket set because, I mean, it's freaking gorgeous, isn't it? Um, what a pile of lovely, sexy, oily, greasy, rusty shit that is. Loving it. And I want to keep it, but I can't keep it because it's too much money. I'll never use it. I want to sell it now, see? All right. <laughs> um, I've got some other stuff here somewhere as well, but... Phew. Piling stuff up, piling stuff up. Got to sort stuff out for the conservatory build as well. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, you're probably you're probably dying off through this as we speak. I'm losing views, but and subscribers. But yeah, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, let me know what your favourite is at the bottom. All right, I'm going to say bye for now.